Hi there. Did you know that using a second brain in Notion to support your language learning plan can be a game changer? In this video, we'll explore how to use it in a simple and effective way. Before we begin, you can download this template for free by following the provided link. This is the exact template we'll be using for the demonstration. You can also check out my previous video on the second brain to get a complete overview and see the full version in action. To explain briefly, a second brain acts as an extension of your memory, a kind of personal knowledge base you can access at any moment. This makes it an ideal tool for language learning, where you need to train your mind in the language you're studying. Now, we'll be using the PARA method. Think of this method as a framework to keep your learning organized, rather than a specific learning method. Regardless of the approach you're using for language acquisition, this structure can help you organize and track your progress. Developed by productivity expert Tiago Forte, the PARA method helps manage information across all areas of life. PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archives. This structure is particularly useful for handling complex information and building a second brain that keeps everything neatly organized. Feel free to use AI to enhance your workflow. In the comments section, you'll find some prompts that you can use directly in your Notion workspace. The project section in language learning is invaluable because it gives structure and purpose to your efforts, transforming broad goals into focused, manageable tasks. Projects are short-term, actionable goals with clear outcomes making them ideal for tracking progress and staying motivated. By breaking down a large goal, like learning English, into specific projects, you avoid overwhelm and focus on tangible achievements. For instance, instead of having a vague goal to improve English, you might create projects like complete a seven-day grammar challenge, learn 100 new vocabulary words, or prepare for an English proficiency exam. Each project has a beginning, a defined outcome, and a list of steps to reach it, making it easier to plan and measure progress. When you have a clear list of actionable tasks, you're more likely to stay consistent and motivated. Checking off project tasks gives you a sense of accomplishment and keeps you moving toward your language learning goals. This approach helps you to focus on one specific area at a time, making language learning feel more rewarding and achievable. While traditional areas focus on different life domains, customizing these areas specifically for language learning transforms your second brain into a dedicated learning hub. This approach allows you to break down language mastery into essential, ongoing areas like vocabulary, grammar, speaking practice, and listening comprehension. By tracking each area individually, you gain clarity on your progress in specific skills and can easily identify where to focus more effort. Linking these areas with projects and resources enhances your learning process. For example, if grammar is one of your main areas, you can connect it to a project like Complete a 30-Day Grammar Challenge and link relevant resources like grammar guides and practice exercises. This interconnected structure keeps all aspects of your language learning organized and accessible, creating a seamless system that adapts as you grow. It provides a clear overview of each skill, so you're always aware of where you're advancing and where to direct your attention next. The resources section also lets you keep track of valuable content, saving you from endlessly searching for materials. When you encounter a challenging concept, you can quickly refer to saved resources for clarification or extra practice. Additionally, linking resources with relevant areas and projects creates a more cohesive learning experience. Each resource can be associated with categories like grammar or pronunciation or tied to specific projects, such as preparing for an English proficiency exam. To help you find something specific in your workflow, you can also use the Notion AI feature. 
based on the resources you've added, Notion AI provides customized responses, making it even easier to get the exact support you need. Archiving allows you to keep your active workspace uncluttered, helping you focus only on what's currently relevant to your language goals. However, keeping these materials archived instead of deleting them means you can easily revisit them when needed. For instance, you might want to look back at a completed grammar challenge project to review complex rules, revisit old practice exams as refreshers, or use past vocabulary lists for periodic revision.